station at Alexander Palace. You're seeing a film originally made for the BBC television service in the spring of 1946. It's not intended as an entertainment for the home viewer, but as an aid to the British radio industry in installing and in demonstrating television receivers. You radio men who will be seeing it day by day throughout the year will soon anticipate each pictorial change and will know the music and dialogue by heart. To you, we would say that we shall modify it from time to time and that the stock press items should always prove interesting. To those of you who are seeing television for the first time and who are therefore the people for whom this film is primarily intended, we'd like to sound a note of caution. Television is essentially the entertainment of the home viewer and it's the family group that our producers and artists normally consider to be their audience. And so if this, your first introduction to television, is not by your own fireside, do believe me when I say that you'll enjoy it so much more when you meet us once again in the intimacy of your home, when you're sitting relaxed in your own armchair. Few viewers, either present or pre-war, have had the opportunity of seeing the machinery by which a television program is transmitted. Let us therefore trace the radio signals which bring this picture and sound to you over the roofs of North London, back to their source at Alexandra Palace. Let us catch a brief glimpse of the transmitter halls, the control rooms, and the studios, and see what television can do, and how it does it. Here in the vision transmitter hall, power from the electric mains is converted into the radio frequency power, which forms a carrier wave that brings this picture to you. In the transmitter, the vision signal produced in the camera is superimposed on, or more technically, modulates this carrier. This is how the vision transmitter engineer sees and checks that modulation. And this is how the sound transmitter engineer listens to and checks the high quality sound for which television programs are noted. Right, stand by. This, the central control room, is the traffic regulator, so to speak, to which all programs are routed on their way to the transmitter. Let's follow the trail back to Studio A through its associated control room, the control gallery, where the producer and senior studio engineer direct and control the production, right back to the studio floor, where we might well see such backstage scenes as these.